First leg of the six up race number five. We're still in class four territory here, but up to the 1800 metres. Two class droppers, born the same day and smiling time. Uh, both down in class, so one coming down in trip, the other one going up in trip, smiling time. Cheery's been uh, in good form, a winner two starts back, then fourth behind Turquoise Alpha last time out. Uh, Shanghai Dragons, another winner two starts back, but down the field last time out. Right was Rain, never too far away, just uh, looking for that uh, maiden victory. He was runner up last time behind Robot Warrior, Red Elise. They won two starts back, then third in that Robot Warrior race last time. We've got uh, Lucky Missile, who is a two time winner this season, albeit one of those was a dead heat. Chater pins and then Cordyceps 2, Mark, who was a course and distance winner back in January. Easy speed map this one, Andrew. Good to slow. Shanghai Dragon straight to the front. That's just Tim. He's been to the trials too since uh, his last start, 13th and he led in the trial. Pakistan friend likes to get handy. Cherry's going to get a more economical run than what he did. He covered some ground behind Turquoise Alpha last time. Those wide, Paul, include Vukan, Daly Charm and an inform Red Elise. Yeah, look, I think Vukan can eventually work across. Look, you've got to remember that 1800 metre start, they've got the whole of the back straight, so there's plenty of time to get into positions here. OK, again, we've got a handful of replays uh, to have a look at. So we'll start off, uh, Mark, with Cherry, who was uh, a winner two starts back, fourth from Barrier 11 last time out, gets Barrier 12 this time. Yeah, can't draw a gate. 11, 9, 13 and a couple of 10s before that and these five starts to date. So Barrier number 12. He also jumps to the 1800 metres for the first time. It looked like he was going to drop off here, Paul, and he kicked again in the straight. In the end, he just missed the top four, but um, he stuck on all right in the run home. Yeah, I've got him in. I thought the 1800 will suit him. And barrier number 12 from the 1800 metre start is a lot better than barrier number 11 from the 1600 metre start. You've got that extra 200 metres just to get yourself into a position. Winner of that race, Turquoise Alpha, didn't win on his next start, but he did run well, so that sort of form holds up, up a little bit. Uh, Red Elise, Paul, ageless, um, still running well, and uh, Riders Rain comes from, I think he got a little bit of a chequered passage here, but managed to run second. Yeah, so look, they both go in. I thought, um, uh, look, Riders Rain is, is, look, he's on the verge of winning, isn't he? He's been very consistent. I like the way Vukan uh, stayed on here. Look, he was still in front of about the 200 metre mark. He does drop back to the 1800 metres and he's won off a lot higher rating before. He's, he's rated 45 now and this was a rating, uh, he, uh, he has won off 51 and he's put two together. The horse uh, Chev Chevalier Prince has come out on one since there as well. Red Elise, you saw him in the run home, he was held up in two starts ago. He was a course and distance winner and he's racing well. All right, smiling time. Uh, Mark isn't a course and distance winner. In actual fact, he hasn't run a placing in 15 starts so far, but you've mined out this little nugget for us. That's going to change on Saturday afternoon, Andrew. He, um, we're going back four starts. This is a fifth behind running glory. He was beaten a length and a quarter. Uh, for 1,800 metres at Happy Valley, he was sixth behind King's Capital. Been a bit disappointing over 2,000 metres. One of them was on a yielding track and then uh, was held up behind Super Oasis. We know what running glory has done since this race. He's not going to get many better opportunities, certainly this season. It's probably his last chance. Just thought he might go a race down in grade. OK. Um, look, he said those, uh, that was his best run, and uh, good luck with him. Yeah. The form does ring. I'll, I'll give him that much. The, the run behind running time does give him half a chance, but we will see. 15 goes without a placing so far. Mark's uh, all over him. Shanghai Dragon. Then, uh, Paul, uh, tell me something about him. He will lead. That's one thing we'll know for sure. He likes to go yeah. forward. Thanks, Scoop. <laughs> Shanghai Dragon. Uh, whether he's there at the end, I'm not so sure. I haven't got him in. No, just disappointing last time behind Red Elise, beating seven links. He was too good two runs ago, beating Lotus favourites by three quarters. He's just hard to catch. He's won two from six course and distance. The trial was nice in pretty ordinary conditions up in Chung Fa, but uh, it's a matter of how far he's going to be in front for. All right. We will find out. Uh, he will jump from well, barrier 10. He'll have to work a little bit in the early stages. Uh, Riders Reign's favourite. I know Mark's tipping. Uh, Paul, what about you? <laughs> yeah, look, I'm going to go one at a big price as well, so shouldn't laugh as well. I'm going with Vukan. Look, the horse has one off a high rating, though, 51. Um, He's down to this rating of 45. And the two runs have both been pretty good. I just thought he could get across from uh, his wide draw and, and give us a bit of a sight at uh, 25 to 1. So he's on top, Riders Rain. Look, he's going to be short uh, and uh, he deserves to win this horse. Uh, Cherry, I think he can get across as well. And the old boy, Red Elise. 11, 5, 3 and 6 for me, Mark.
Smiling time's going to be very hard to beat here, Paul. And uh, even though he's had 15 starts for nothing, gets the opportunity. He does have to carry 135 pounds, though, so it's not going to be too easy for him. We'll appreciate coming back in grade, though. Five riders, Rain keeps finding one to beat him, but is racing well. Joyful Heart off the inside gate. He's run second behind Galaxy Witness in a Happy Valley trial. And the six, Red Elise, two, five, nine and six. Yeah, the five gets in for me as well, Ryder Train has to. But I take a chance for the other class dropper here, born the same day for Francis Lloyd and Jerry Chow. One and five, the cue for me in the first leg of the six up, which is a class four over the 1800 metres.